Good morning, class. Today I want to walk you through using Seesaw for art class. So when you get to Seesaw, you'll find a bunch of your classes. Mine actually give me my different classrooms, but yours might say science, math, art, PE, and music. Once you access that tab, you're going to see in your activities what we have assigned you for that week. Now, for art classes, you can view it as directions, which will give you all the links, but you won't be able to respond in this top part. Or if you're saying that you want to add your response, you're ready to fill in those charts. It's going to pull up our digital sketchbook to look like this. Now, there's pages where you don't have to do anything. You can go out and watch the videos that we've asked you to watch. You can listen again. But this is a page that we're asking for a response. So the first step is you're choosing one of these pieces that speaks to you based on what you read and heard in the slides above. And then you're going to click and drag that art piece into the frame and you can resize it to fit in here perfectly. It just tells me which piece you are going to write about up here. So then you are editing where it says your answer. So what feeling do you get when you view this painting? So you're going to go ahead and type in your answer. Now, the boards you can see are divided by weeks. So everything that says one has a red tab to it and you're expected to do all of those. Now, at the end of each lesson, you have several choices on how to complete artwork. So you have a response piece and then you have a choice piece. Now, my completely online students, you will sometimes see, C actually will say online. And that's the piece that we've been working on in class. So you can see what it is that we're doing in class. Um, other weeks, you'll just have A, B, and C. For those of you who do see us in class, A and B are typically a little shorter of a project. So we want you creating each week, uh, but not necessarily the bigger projects that we're doing in class. Now the choice boards get uploaded to the Artsonia account. So we'll put a link in here and there's another slide that explains to you how to upload to Artsonia. I've also said end of week one in our first grade journals. Now week two is in here. Uh, it's all orange and you'll get to the end of week two. It again has those response areas and choice boards. And then week three starts a new color. So you know if you switched colors all of a sudden, you're in a new week. Again, a few informational pieces, an area for you to respond, and your choice boards. This is where you see that online piece is written. This is the project that we're working on in the classroom. So some of these have links out to explain a little bit more how to do a project if necessary. So those are your first three weeks in art class and how to navigate. And then you'll get a new set with three weeks. So if you get behind, you can always go back and complete a week. When you're ready to turn it in, uh, if you need to pause, you can just hit draft. If you're ready to turn it in, you're going to hit that green check mark. I hope this helps you uh, get familiar with how we're using your sketchbooks within Seesaw.